Hello everyone, I'm MVL and welcome to my video game pickups for May 2020. As per usual, gameplay footage included for every game on this list. And first up we have... Burai Fighter for the NES. This is a shoot 'em up game. In a remote corner of the galaxy, there lives a race of super brains known as the Burai. For thousands of years, their vast mental capabilities have been focused on one goal, the conquest of the universe. To accomplish this, they are creating huge armies of robo-mutants, bizarre creatures, half robot and half living flesh. With their seven manufacturing bases producing thousands of robo-mutants each day, the Burai armies will soon overrun the galaxy unless you can stop them. Strap on your proton pack, charge up your laser cannon, and prepare to do battle with the deadliest army of mutant rogues in the universe. You must somehow penetrate the seven bases of the Burai where you will confront a super mutant guarding each base. But with the awesome arsenal of weapons at your command, victory may still be within your reach. It's up to you to rid the universe of the evil Burai once and for all. Defeat the Burai using massive weaponry in Burai Fighter on the NES. And next up we have Section Z for the NES. This is a shoot 'em up game. Planet Earth in the year 2XXX. You are relaxing at the console of your computerized superconductor generated interplanetary satellite communication system. Suddenly, high frequency radio and television transmissions blast warnings to all inhabitants to prepare for the brutal invading forces of the Balangul Empire. Battle and defeat the space soldiers of the Balangul, penetrate their base divided in Section A through Section Z, then destroy Balangul Master Control, L Brain. Will you penetrate Section Z and defeat the Balangul Empire? You control the future of planet Earth in Section Z on the NES. And next up we have... Twin Cobra for the NES. This is a shoot 'em up game. You are the pilot of the world's fastest attack chopper, capable of firing four types of ammo and dropping devastating bombs. You fly over enemy strongholds and evade hostile battleships, tanks, planes and defensive helicopters fight you all the way. Up ahead, you see the island's menacing main defenses waiting for you, if you survive. Now the excitement of the coin-op sensation Twin Cobra can be had in your home. Join the Sami Assault in the greatest invasion ever launched in Twin Cobra on the NES. Next up we have... Game & Watch Gallery 2 for the Game Boy Color. This is a collection of Game & Watch games, including Parachute, Helmet, Chef, Vermin and Donkey Kong. All in enhanced color when played on the Game Boy Color. Take a fabulous journey back in time and play some classic video games. Launched around 20 years ago on Nintendo's legendary Game & Watch system, the predecessor of today's Game Boy. Five games are collected here, both in their original forms and in an improved modern day version. Five classic titles are back in color in Game & Watch Gallery 2 on the Game Boy Color. And next up we have Pocket Bomberman for the Game Boy Color. This is a platformer. All of the sunlight has been stolen, and the only thing that will bring it back is a legendary sword located on top of a mountain. Only one person can get the sword, Bomberman. You take the role of Bomberman, blasting your way through enemies in 25 levels. Blow up monstrous trees in the forbidding forest, blast angry fish while crossing the treacherous ocean, and dodge parachuting bombs in the soaring clouds. This is a new side-scrolling Bomberman game. As in the other games in the franchise, the player must position bombs and other obstacles to box in the opposition, then blow them to smithereens. After completing five levels, Bomberman must face a boss character to advance. Along the way, there will be plenty of power-ups to help Bomberman save the day, help Bomberman rescue the world from darkness in Pocket Bomberman on the Game Boy Color. Next up we have... Final Fantasy XII for the PlayStation 2. This is a role-playing game. As the future of Ivalice hangs in the balance, the mighty Arcadian Empire edges closer to war with its old enemy, Rosaria. Lying between them, the tiny kingdom of Damascus celebrates a royal wedding and the promise of future prosperity. Two years later, a Damascan street urchin named Van looks to the heavens and dreams of leaving his fallen homeland to live the life of a sky pirate, free to go where he will. 
He is about to learn that the freedom he craves is not easily won and that to realize his dreams he must first realize the dreams of a nation. The official PlayStation 2 magazine said this is the biggest game of the year, giving it 10 out of 10. Challenge an empire, liberate a nation and change the world in Final Fantasy XII on the PlayStation 2. And next up we have Musashi Samurai Legend for the PlayStation 2. This is an action game. Are you in need of help? Then summon a samurai. A beautiful princess tries to summon a hero to save the mystic people but gets a trainee samurai Musashi instead. Step in and take care of business as you join Musashi on a hacking and slashing quest where you can turn Musashi into a warrior as you learn your enemy skills and create your own fighting style. The game also boasts stylish manga visuals as well. It's cutting edge samurai action in Musashi Samurai Legend on the PlayStation 2. Next up we have Hunter the Reckoning Redeemer for the original Xbox. This is an action game. Since her parents' murder 10 years ago, Kylie Winter has trained hard to become a hunter. Eager for justice, she is one of five hunters to discover that the undead threaten the streets of Ashcroft once again. In this game, you have five playable hunters, each possess wicked new weapons, magic and other abilities, and 20 expansive levels in which you can unleash an arsenal of 40 lethal ranged and melee weapons on 21 supernatural creatures, including heartless zombies, bloodthirsty vampires and relentless beasts. And the game also includes single and multiplayer modes as well. The hunt continues in Hunter the Reckoning, Redeemer on the original Xbox. Next up we have EA Replay for the PSP. This is a collection of EA games. Step back to the dawn of console gaming's golden age with 14 EA classics. It includes Bob, which is the gameplay you are seeing right now, Budokan, The Martial Spirit, Desert Strike Return to the Golf, Haunting starring Poltergei, Jungle Strike, Mutant League Football, Road Rash, Road Rash 2, Road Rash 3, Syndicate, Ultima 7, The Black Gate, Virtual Pinball, Wing Commander, and Wing Commander The Secret Missions. Replay the classics in EA Replay on the PSP. And next up we have Mac, Modified Air Combat Heroes for the PSP. This is a flight racing and combat game. Modified Air Combat Heroes are outlaw pilots competing in deadly aerial contests of skill, speed and weaponry. Finish first and annihilate the competition in this sky-high race to own the air or leave dejected and ejected. This game lets you rise through the ranks by defeating your rivals and unlocking customised parts and planes for enhanced speed and weaponry. This game features both racing and dogfight sections and also includes multiplayer modes as well. It's fight and flight in Mac Modified Air Combat Heroes on the PSP. And next up we have the Power Stone Collection on the PSP. This is a collection of Power Stone games. It includes Power Stone and Power Stone 2, which is the gameplay you are seeing right now. The legendary Power Stone fighting series smashes its way onto PSP. Chase the Power Stones to transform your fighter into the ultimate warrior. Pick up a plank and wade into the punch-up or use deadly traps in the arena against your enemy. This collection includes both Power Stone games in full with new modes. It also includes multiplayer modes as well. It's a fight like no other in Power Stone Collection on the PSP. And next up we have Siphon Filter Dark Mirror on the PSP. This is an action game. As commander of an agency that doesn't officially exist, Gabe Logan specialises in missions too dangerous for conventional intelligence and too sensitive for a military response. Take control of this deadly precision strike operative as he is inserted into the field to uncover the latest threat to global security, a project known only as Dark Mirror. This game features 30 plus globe spanning missions, state of the art weaponry and gadgets, explosive combat and heart pounding stealth and fast paced multiplayer modes as well. IGN gave this game 9.3, saying it's outstanding and it exploits just about every technical capability the little system has to offer. And GameZone gave it 9.5, saying it's one of those games that will make you glad you own the PSP system. 
There's no military, no special forces, just Gabe Logan in Siphon Filter Dark Mirror on the PSP. And next up we have Ultimate Ghosts and Goblins on the PSP. This is a platformer. Don your armor, brave knight, and gather your weapons once more. The kingdom needs you. You must descend into the underworld in this all-new quest and battle new foes, undead and demonic, for the princess is being held captive in the very bowels of hell. Surely, this will be your ultimate adventure. This is Action Reborn, as the arcade Smash Ghosts and Goblins series gets an all-new chapter with new graphics and entirely new levels designed especially for the PSP. It's the ultimate adventure in Ultimate Ghosts and Goblins on the PSP. Next up we have Mortal Kombat Armageddon on the Nintendo Wii. This is a fighting game. The fury of Mortal Kombat has brought the realms to the brink of total destruction. Every warrior has been summoned to this epic battle where survival depends on their ability to fight. Experience MK in an entirely new way with special moves and fatalities executed via the Wii Remote. Or play with the Nintendo GameCube and Classic Controller as well. This game lets you fight with 60 plus characters, including the new Carmeleon exclusively on the Wii, and create your own customized characters and fatalities, as well as experience a deep adventure in conquest mode. You can also go racing MK style with up to four players in motor combat. That's Mortal Kombat Armageddon on the Wii. Next up we have Goldeneye Reloaded on the Xbox 360. This is a first-person shooter, and is actually a retitled and remastered version of the Wii game GoldenEye 007, which in itself is a modern reimagining of the 1995 James Bond film GoldenEye and a remake of the Nintendo 64 game of the same name. And although Pierce Brosnan starred as Bond in GoldenEye, Daniel Craig's voice and likeness are used in this game, and the style matches the reboot films. It's refined, recharged, and reloaded as the Bond adventure that began it all returns in GoldenEye 007 Reloaded on the Xbox 360. And next up we have Lego Batman the video game on the Xbox 360. This is an action-adventure game. I already had this game in a twin pack, but I wanted to pick it up by itself. Play as Batman and his sidekick Robin as you build, dive, swing and fight your way through Gotham City. Then jump into the story from the other side and play as Batman's foes. There's no rest for the good or the evil. Xbox 360 World says this game is packed with bat goodness and The Sun gave it 91% saying it's brilliant. Gotham City is falling to pieces in Lego Batman the video game on the Xbox 360. And next up we have SSX on the Xbox 360. This is a snowboarding game. Survive nine of the world's deadliest descents as you outrun avalanches, ride in total darkness and more. From Everest to Kilimanjaro to Mount Blanc, race and trick across the world's most iconic and remote mountain regions. Games Radar says this is one of our most wanted games of the year. Defy reality and own the planet in SSX on the Xbox 360. And finally we have Final Fantasy VII Remake Deluxe Edition on the PlayStation 4. This is a role-playing game. This Deluxe Edition package came with two iron-on patches, the game with a reversible cover, a Sephiroth steelbook case, a mini soundtrack CD, and a hardback art book including stunning concept art. It also came with summon material DLC for Cacta and Chocobo Chick. The world is under the control of Shinra, a corporation controlling the planet's life force as Mako Energy. In the city of Midgar, Cloud Strife, former member of Shinra's elite soldier unit, now turned mercenary, lends his aid to the Avalanche Resistance Group, unaware of the epic consequences that await them. The story of this first standalone game in the Final Fantasy VII Remake project covers up to the party's escape from Midgar and goes deeper into the events occurring in the city than the original Final Fantasy VII. The legend returns for all generations in Final Fantasy VII Remake on the PlayStation 4. 
And that's it, those are all of my video game pickups for May 2020. If you like the video, please leave a like or a comment to let me know what you think, and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. And if you'd like to, you can also support me through Patreon or YouTube channel membership. Thank you for watching, I've been MVL, and I will catch you next time. Thank <laughs> you.